Hi guys, so back again uh, with another video, slightly different this time. We're using the uh, full laid out track circuit with all the uh, Hobby King track I have here. So this is my BZ3 running with grip tyres. This I've been dying to do this for a uh, long time. So I finally got the track laid out. I needed a lot more space to run this car. And you can see why it's so much faster with the grip tyres. It is really a race car. It's not made for drifting. And you can see in some of the slowed down footage, it really does compose itself well, even when it hits bumps. But yes, the, it was a lot of fun. I had to turn the EXP, I think, up on the steering and the throttle so that it's less sensitive and I can actually get a more smooth transition between corners. Uh, the car itself composed itself so well and really it took a little bit of practice for me to get used to driving with grip tires instead of drift tires it's a completely different way of driving so you can see from the footage the car screams along and the noise it makes is something amazing it really does sound good uh, the weather itself didn't hold out so i only got to run my bz3 i'd like to have included some more footage against other cars but i will get to that hopefully i'll get some better weather soon but as you can see the car really zips along and even on the tight, really tight corners, this track isn't as wide as a full-sized uh, 50 centimeter Kyosho tile track. It's a little bit smaller. I think the tiles are about 10, meter, 10 centimeters smaller. But as you can see, um, this is a smooth surface as well. So it's a smooth side up. It's the same surface I use for drifting, but with the super grip tires. And some of the things I found really was just getting used to driving with a car which performs so quickly that you have to think a lot quicker. In these instances, you, when you put the full throttle on, it takes up the, it's, it's run the course, the length so fast. Okay, you've got some footage here where I've really slowed it down, really slow. So you can see how the s suspension really is composed. And I think this car has the best suspension of all the mini RCs I have. And you can just see in these bumps here how the car just composes and carries on straight. I never had to do a steering correction as it went over the bumps. It kind of stayed true. And that's so impressive. And I think it shows in its chassis that's bred for racing, really. Uh, I think in the past I've had a bit of criticism not showing this car in its full potential. And that's more so because we didn't have the space to run it. It's just so fast, you can't run it on a small track. Here we go, and you can see why. I mean, that straight is a good 50 foot long, and bang, it's gone in a second. So I've watched the footage on YouTube and I've been impressed with what I've seen, but I enjoyed so much running the car like this myself. That I'm looking for a club now I can go to and enjoy really giving this car its full potential. Sometimes I think when you're using so many different cars, you don't take the time to appreciate one. But I spent a whole day playing around with this. Well, not a whole day, half a day. And I have to say, it really did. It was addictive, really addictive. So... I'll do another video about the setup I've got. I think I've done previous videos to show the actual uh, Flysky MB4 I'm using with this, but it really came into its own. I think using that transmitter with this car, I used the Radio Link previously, and uh, it's just another level. I like the Radio Link, but if you're really going to race this car, the uh, Noble Flysky MB4 really complements it really well. And uh, changing the setup so that everything's sort of better positioned in terms of center of gravity with the radio and the speed controller really, really made a difference to the uh, way the car was handling. So that was again advice from another YouTuber who suggested I try that. And so I re-set up the car thing in the last Atomic video I did with all the Atomic All-Stars in it. You can see how the radio set up. I've got the uh, everything pretty central. And yes, I mean, you, you've got a car here that performs like nothing else. I think my SZ will probably match it, but this has got slightly better suspension. The SZ sounds like a real meaty car. This sounds more of a high-pitched screen. But I'm interested to see how they compare. So my next video hopefully will be the SZ running around the same track, and I'll see if we can get some comparison footage. I think one thing I did realise straight away was you don't want the gyro plugged in at all. It, just interferes with everything so i unplugged the gyro and this is the car with no gyro and with grip tires and it runs amazing amazingly um, you can even see a couple of times i almost slide around the corner you can with this car with that much power have it slide on you 
although usually the sliding is followed by me crashing into the barrier as you probably saw in a bit of the footage earlier on. So I hope you enjoy this footage guys and if you want more videos like this I can, if the weather permits I'll try and get some more done especially during this lockdown. It gives me a bit of time to play around with the setup. But yeah, it was a lot, a lot of fun, very addictive and I'm hoping my driving did improve by the end of the day. And uh, I'll try and tweak the settings and see if I can get some better tyres so we can get some even better footage. But if you definitely want to see more footage like this, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos. The more the channel grows, the more time I can put into it and definitely want to do more videos like this. Maybe even get a proper race up and running with all the cars, well, three or four cars maybe on there running at the same time. But don't worry, I won't forsake drifting. I still love the drift style racing that, that we usually do. And uh, that does lend itself to the uh, smaller track very well. I did try running it down the straight with drift tyres, my uh, Mini ZV Pro. And it wasn't the easiest thing to do. Yeah, the car wanted to spin out so easily it was unbelievable I had to turn the gyro right up down the straight you can't get any real appreciable speed but uh, anyway hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys soon